Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today we're going to have a fun video. We're going to be ranking all of the Breaking Bad characters. So, without further ado, let's get this started. Okay, first we have Lydia. <laughs> um, she kind of comes in later uh, in the franchise, but she's she's always too afraid to... to further her career but she's also she also thinks she's too tough sometimes so we're gonna put her d tier because i really don't like her uh <laughs> uh jane easy easy a tier i know she, her and jesse are gonna go to new zealand and whatnot but come on i mean she's drug addict and everything she kind of is like the whole reason what the plane crashes because she was too stupid and overdosed, and then her dad found her, so. Uh, we'll just pick random. Uh, I don't even know who this chick is, so we won't rank her. Ted Benneke. Jesus, I hate this guy. With the passion. He's like the whole reason Walt falls into shambles. And he's a real douchebag. Nobody likes him. Uh, the episode IFT broke my heart. I hate that episode. I hate that Skylar did what she did. Uh, speaking of Skylar, let's rank her next. You know, if we, a lot of people don't like her, but if we put ourselves in her position, it's like, would we be any different? You know, like we would still be fearful of Walt and we wouldn't like what he's doing. But some of the sh stuff she does is just too out of hand. I really don't like her as a character. And I think she's written that way on purpose. So we'll put her in C tier. Alright. I think his name is Uncle Jack or something like that. His, his, his name is Jack, but I think they call him Uncle Jack. This guy's a douchebag. He's a total ripoff of a bad character. And he's like the epitome of evil. Uh, comes in later on. But, I mean, shooting Hank... Shooting, I mean, like, you, you guys know what happens, but seriously, such a terrible character. Very, very narcissistic character, and I think he goes there with Lydia. Uh, okay, Gus Fring, probably our first S tier. Gus Fring, Gustavo Fring, one of the scariest people in all of TV history. Definitely one of the scariest villains in all of cinema or not cinema all of media history i mean gus fring los pollos hermanos himself terrifying human being some people say the devil reincarnate easy s tier best character in the show uh that's 100 percent fact i don't care what you say gus fring is the best character in the show mike erman trout s tier easy s tier does all of this stuff for his his granddaughter who we find out in Better Call Saul is actually an important character to him. <sighs> the way he goes out at the expense of Walt, very sad. I mean, we all loved Mike. He was such a good character. Uh, <laughs> Badger. I'm not going to lie. I do love Badger. I like him more than Skinny Pete, which I know is like a sin, basically. Because uh, I know Skinny Pete's significance later on, but Badger himself. Easy. Easy A tier. Love Badger. I can never do his accent whenever I'm talking about him, though, and it's really embarrassing. Hank. Hanky Hank Hank. People often feel bad for Hank because of the position he was put in, but at Hank's core, dude, he was kind of a terrible person. Like, I know he did a lot of stuff for the DEA, and I know he was basically... Walt was basically operating under his skin the entire time, but Hank, I've always had something to pick with Hank, man. I mean, he's always just been there. He's always been the guy, like, I feel like everyone knows this guy, where he's he's kind of like a douchebag-ish, but he always thinks he's on top of his game, and Walt's always one step ahead of him. That's the best way I can describe it. Uh forget this guy's name it's not nacho i think it's combo yeah yeah combo okay combo 
I loved Combo. I hate the way that he went out, but I loved Combo. He was a great character. He's probably in front of Skyler. I wish we saw more of him, but he had a pretty decent role. Skinny Pete. I see, he's in the same category as Badger. He's just a little worse, so we'll put him further back. But he's still an A tier character. Love Skinny Pete. I love how him and uh, Badger are uh, the point the red lasers at <laughs> uh, Elliot and his wife, or whatever their names are. But good character all around. Uh, one of Jesse's best counterparts. It's always. He's always a team player. That's what I like about him. Duco Salamanca. A high A tier, if not S tier. I, I understand if you put him in S tier. I do. I mean, but Tuco. Dude, tight, 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 tight. Very scary character. Very scary to deal with, but he's nowhere near as scary as Gus. Uh, Saul Goodman. The comedic relief of the show. I mean... I understand completely if you guys put him in S tier, A tier, which I put him probably in the middle of A tier. Uh, you know, we'll move this around. Jane's A tier, but she's not as good as Skinny Pete. And actually, Saul is better than Badger, but Saul, love Saul, gotta love Saul. Better call Saul, has his own spinoff and everything. But Saul Goodman, very good character. Very important character, as he's like the reason why Walt escapes and all that. But Saul Goodman, he's always got, he's always in the in the, he, he's, I don't know the way to describe him. He's always a very selfish but selfless character, if that makes any sense. He does a lot of things for himself and for his own safety and for his own good. But you pay him the right amount of money and he'll die for you, basically. All right. Here we do. Oh, I don't know. We'll do Marie. Marie, always wearing purple. Skylar's rival. She's way better than Skylar, though. Uh, in almost every regard. I'll put her and Hank together. But, I mean, Marie really... I didn't like how she was a thief and, like, a, a kind of a petty thief, too. And I don't like the way that Hank doesn't really care that she's a thief like that. And I don't, I don't like the way Hank treated her when Hank was, like, hospitalized and had after the car crash and everything, and, I mean, he was such an uh, a-hole to Marie, and it's really sad to go through, but, uh, we'll do Walt Jr. next. Walt Jr., very good character, very understandable character, um, I mean, if we put him, ourselves in his shoes, we definitely see that the strife that he has with his mother and his father at times. But Walt Jr., man, probably right after Saul, but before Badger. Uh, I wanted to see more growth from Walt Jr. as from a son's perspective, but uh, who knows? Maybe something will come out. This, I forget her name, but she's like the hooker kind of lady. Never really cared for her. She's always just there. If you don't really know her name, then is she that important? Oh, God. I don't want to rate these last few people. Never met this girl. I think this is Gail. I don't know if this is Gail or not. We'll rank him as if he is Gail. Gail, E tier. He was supposed to be funny, but he wasn't really that funny. Um, don't really know where to put him. We'll just put him in E tier. Todd, another villain. Don't really like him. I mean, he shot a child, and he, I think Jesse should have killed him when he had the chance, because as we know, uh, we obviously know what happens, but Jesse should have killed him. I'll stand by that. He should have died the same day that he killed that kid. So we'll put him in C tier in the middle, after Skylar, though, because Skylar's a better character than him. He, he plays a bigger role later on, but from what we see from him, He's, he's borderline psychopath. I mean, he is seriously a psychopath. Um, who's next? I guess we'll do Walt. Walt Heisenberg, Walter White, Walter Hartwell White. I mean, really? Come on, S tier. You know, he's the epitome of a, a, a changing man, an adapting man. Goes from 
chemistry teacher diagnosed with cancer to drug kingpin at the top of the world dies on his own terms, which is the biggest thing. A lot of people don't know if he won or lost. He won. He won in the end because he died on his own terms. He died exactly where he wanted to die. My mic died. He died on his own terms, and he died how he wanted to die. He died where he felt at home. So he won in the end. If Also, I mean... He, he never really got caught. He, so it's it's important because in the end, he, he was the hero at first, became the villain, and then he died on his own terms, which means he won in the end. I know I was kind of redundant there, but yeah. Um, here we have Gomez, Gomi. Fucking love Gomi. Oh, fudging love Gomi. He's a great character. I love, love Gomi. Um, is he S tier though? I liked him better than Hank for sure. Oof. I liked him better than Hank for sure. We put him... I guess we can put him between Saul and uh, Tuco. Loved Hank though. Not Hank. I'm sorry I keep voice cracking. I loved Gomi. I loved Gomez. He was probably my favorite from the DEAs and from people who weren't directly related to the drug business. It's like Mike... I mean, him and Mike are counters in a way. Maybe I'll go into depth more, but Gomi's easy A tier in front of Saul. I know I'm kind of doing Saul dirty, but I mean, he gets better and better call Saul. Oh, I think this is Jesse's mom, actually. Jesse's mom, F tier. No one likes her. She's kind of a prick. And then Jesse. Oh my gosh, Jesse. Aaron Paul, fantastic job. Won a ton of Emmys for it. Congratulations to him. I mean, he really... He is something else. I think he is... Does he change more than Walt? Does he become more of a person? A, a different, a more different person than before because of, what, the events of Breaking Bad? I think yes. I think he's a better character than Walt. I do. But at the same time, he's kind of a crybaby. So I, I guess this is my, my tier list. I think that's fine. These guys, either I don't know or like Ted, I cannot stand Ted. He's the worst character. Uh, Todd, evil. Yeah, this seems about right. All right, thank you guys so much for paying attention to this, and I really appreciate it. I love Breaking Bad. It was probably my favorite show of all time, this in community. But I got to say... I love Vince Gilligan for all the work he did, and he is truly a unique individual, one of the best screenwriters we've ever seen, and I'll die on that hill. Thank you for watching.